Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. And something like this, you know, these cars come in so many different flavors over the years. And then there's cars that take it to the next level. You have all these tuners out there trying to tune uh, standard cars to make them spectacular. But it seems to me that only the factory has all the key components to unlock all that power, make everything right, put it together, and, uh, and lay it down the line. What do we have here? SL55, the year of the compressor model, 500 horsepower cars. All right, let's check this thing out because we're talking about triple black. We're talking about uh, maybe 190 mile an hour cars. So I've been told, don't know if it's true or not. Again, I'm that guy, right hand lane, flashers on, 55, driving like this. You see me, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, host of safety features, host of performance features. So much that goes on with this car. I'm gonna talk about some stuff here, but also listen to the ad as well and you can kind of see what, uh, what comes with the car and uh, standard that I'm gonna forget to tell you about. All right, let's start with a few things. Quality of paint. Check this out for a second. I just got this little piece of paper because I like to show you. Sorry, there was a little bit of dust right there. Look at this, man. This is amazing that that's factory paint. It's hard to believe. Crystal clear, beautiful. All right, come on over, check something else here. All right, these are upgraded alloys. They're 19 inch, and the reason they're 19 inch is this reason. Yes, they look great, but secondly, because this caliper needs some place to fit. Look at the size of it. It's this big, the pie plate that we'll call the rotor, cross drilled, vented, and enormous. And you have to have these big wheels to even fit uh, all that stuff in there. So fresh fair tires all the way around and some details around the car to let you know that this is not your ordinary SL500 uh, uh, vehicle. All right, so we got our fender vents here. We got a different front, front fascia for the SL, uh, for the uh, AMG cars. Nice little details there, but it's just enough to be what we call the velvet hammer. You know, just enough to get rid of the, the standard look, make this enough to be performance oriented. And uh, on top of it, don't forget too, that although this car makes 500 plus horsepower, it's a car you can drive all day long, every day. It can be your daily driver. And uh, that's what makes uh, the factory do something that uh, a lot of tuners can never get done. All right, so uh, you know what? We'll take a peek under the hood for a minute because this is where a lot of all this happens. All right, let's take a look here and see what all the, uh, all the what we call the pressure is about. The pressure here is supercharger, serialized. These superchargers here typically have 100,000 mile lifespans in them. So uh, it's a long time before any of these and we see them go 200,000 miles. But uh, these are 100,000 mile compressors, all right? And some good, good features around this car, meaning that the original stickers seem to be all in the right places. This is nice and clean, it's not greasy. Somebody's taking care of the car, they've serviced it. And uh, everything that's supposed to be there is there. There's one feature under the hood here that I like that sends me a great signal about a car, and that, that this has a Mercedes battery in it. Typically a Mercedes battery is three times the price of a regular battery. So somebody obviously services at the dealership because you can't even, they'd have to deliver it to you. Uh, if you wanted to, to go to a Mercedes battery. But anyway, so something like this right here, with that in it and being as clean as it is, makes me feel really good about this car. Okay, so a couple subtle call outs to let people know that this is not your ordinary SL, that this one right here is uh, in between $25,000 and $50,000 more uh, than, uh, than a regular SL. So what you're getting is the call outs here which anybody can buy, but you'd have to move up and spend a lot more money to get the new bumper, get the exhaust that says AMG. Underneath, there's some uh, upgrades in there as far as uh, a positive traction and final drive ratios. The transmission's a lot more heavy duty. You know, these are just not uh, stickers on a car and a supercharger. There's a whole package that goes into this to change the vehicle dynamics and the character of the car. So anyway, uh, one of the things I do like to do is I like to show the trunk in these. And the reason I like to show the trunk is because two reasons. One, this is with the top down. So all of this in here is your storage area. And you would typically put your stuff in there before you went ahead and put the top down. Also, there's a protector underneath here that protects the top and uh, any luggage that you might have underneath there. So that's really a nice feature. The one thing too that makes it nice is when you got the storage and everything down there, you hit this button here, this lifts up and out of the way, and you can get to whatever it is you need back here. But look how much room's in there now. You can imagine when the top is up, it's really big. All tucked in there good. Everybody's good. You know, this has a great look with the top up. The black, the black, and with the top up, you know, you get this sports car kind of look as well as a coupe. 
unattended windows, you know, just uh, all that good stuff. And then just with uh, a quick pull of a lever, uh, your day changes dramatically. I mean, you go from uh, you know, coming out of work, your tie is all tight, to boom. Tops goes down. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a ballet to watch all that. Done. Boom. And if you want to, you just roll on down the windows and you're good to go. What a great car, huh? All right, come on inside. I want to show you the inside of this car. So you're buying yourself uh, a luxury car. Then you said you want to get yourself a supercar, right? And you say, okay, I'll still look at these two because they are that. And then like, what kind of luxury do I really get in a car like this? Well, let me talk about that for a second. You get a special type of leather, a Napa leather in these. They're heated and air conditioned seats. Air conditioned and heated, that's right. Mm -hmm. This one has the massaging seats with the pulsation right there. Come on, man. Who, what are they gonna think of next? Nice size glove box, more storage right here. Great looking wood, you can change this to carbon fiber if you wanted to which uh, looks just as great, but uh, some people like that different. This also has pluses and minuses here for uh, uh, shifting the transmission when it's in sport mode uh, so that you can uh, shift this like an F1 style transmission shifter. So uh, it's quick, it's fast, especially uh, with these buttons here, you can have a sport mode and you can change the suspension settings, you can lower the car, uh, you can even turn off the traction control and the extended and the, uh, the stability control as well. If you want to take this car to the track, it's still 500 horsepower, man. It's still super fast. 7,000 RPM tack, 200 mile an hour speedometer, right? Sick or what? Check this out. I mean, just every luxury feature from Xenon headlights to leather covered interior, just the touches in the car are really, really nice and just really, really solid, everything around it. So with the embroidered mats screaming out SL55, hopefully, you know, whoever it is that you bring in the car with you, uh, is wearing a diaper or maybe extra belts or a harness or something like that because what you're going to do, you're going to go to the trunk, you're going to get a helmet out of the back because you guys are just going to dinner, right? So you're going to get your helmet out of the back, you put the helmet on, on yourself first, right? And don't say anything to the passenger. Like, like are they going to freak a little bit? Maybe, maybe not. You never know. So you get your helmet on, turn all of these buttons off, put it in drive, look over at them, and just nod your head and just tip into the gas. Now, I personally would never drive like that, and I'm not recommending you do that either. That is fiction, it's a story that I just made up, and I, uh, I encourage you to take it responsibly, all right? Just like drinking. I wanna show you just a little bit of this stuff here too. This makes it kind of, they've really given some thought to, uh, like you hold this button here, they've really given some thought to getting back here, this right here is for holding down luggage. There's more storage bins back here. Here's your CD changer, some storage on the other sides. And like this contrasting stitching, you know, it just looks really, really nice. This also has a roll bar uh, built in, which is kind of uh, interesting because first off, it's a safety thing. But secondly, if you wanted to, you can actually put that up for a different type of look. Oops, sorry. Which changes the whole look of the car. Quite honestly, it looks pretty cool going down the road. Very sporty. You know, in closing up a car like this, this car is priced. Forget the fact that it's, you know, 120, 130, 140, 150 uh, new. That's a lot of money for these cars. But this car here, because it's, uh, you know, it's maybe seven, eight years old right now, the fact of the matter is that's the time to buy these cars is when they have a few miles on them like this. They've been well maintained. It's the perfect colors. It's got fresh tires on it. And the truth is, this is a world-class supercar for the price of mere mortal cars. Anyway, if you can find a way to get this AMG SL55 compressor in your life, call us, man. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. 301-816-1000.